Hi, welcome back to Donald Drake Train Reaction Machine Tutorials. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to turn on a Kinex motor. And it's really easy to do, and the success rate, I'd say, is 100%. So, of course, with every one of my tutorials, the price of entry is a hot glue gun because, honestly, just about everything I build relies on the hot glue gun. I can't think without it really like this hot glue gun is my paintbrush for these types of things and the first thing you are going to need to make in order to turn on a connects motor is a uh, lever one of these you can pause the video and build it but in case you don't know how to make a uh, place anywhere connects motor you put a little hot glue in the uh, that whole piece of the connects and then you make sure the end rod is flush with the outside like that a little bit more there you go and that's your base it's pretty sturdy and you can put a lever together and the goal is simple to turn on a connects motor you need to insert this little end and wedge it inside one side of your choice in the connects motor. And even when it's wedged in pretty good, it, the connects motor can still turn off. And as you can see, it has a hair trigger. Very little weight or movement can set this off. So you can glue this down anywhere, but I recommend gluing it on a uh, cassette tape or something of a similar size and durability. And you want to start by gluing the connects motor on one end of your base. While we let that dry, I'd like to uh, mention the book Farm Legends here. It is uh, one of my grandma's books, and it's from 18... 1892 and you know it has hot glue all over it and it's been in a lot of videos and I like having things in my machines that show up many many times use many different ways I think it kind of makes it more like a uh, a saga it makes it more like a storyline but anyway this is dry so we want to insert a lever in basically it takes a little dexterity so I'm just holding it in place right there and it looks like that would work if I glue it so I'm gonna lift it up a bit and glue it down but make sure while you're gluing it you kind of hold it inside the the nook where the switch is because the whole what this whole thing relies on is everything being solid and the less solid it is this this lever can kind of come out and make it more difficult to turn on and this is just one way to do it but personally I think it's better to have a really thick base to glue the lever on and then glue the lever on that base because the most rigid strongest part of the lever is right right here the farther you get up the more bend it has and you don't want any bend in this the, the more bend you have is bad so what I usually do is glue the lever on this base and you can let the glue sit while it's turned on because you can turn it off and then while we wait for that to dry, the reason why we made it on a base is now this is one unit. You could glue this anywhere. You could glue it sideways, upside down. You could glue this on a sphere. Now it's a whole unit and it's very, very sensitive. This marble will set it off. This domino will set it off. Super sensitive. 100% success rate and not only that you could even glue this arm which you hit to different areas 
So you can almost hit activate, basically you can activate this motor from any direction. So you have complete control over how it's going to be turned on and you can turn on a motor. And sometimes I like to have the motor already running, that's not cheating, but it is kind of cool at will. You can turn it on so easily with so little force. Marbles, this size, domino, a cassette tape. Let's see if this will set it off. That's really light. A ping pong ball could hit this over. But anyway, that's how you turn on a Kinex. Well, at least that's how I turn it on. I'm sure there's more ways to do it, but this way I like because it is extremely easy, reliable, and it doesn't really matter what you use to activate it because it requires such little force. I bet you you could rig it so a blow dryer could turn on the Kinex motor if you have a wind catcher or sail of some sort. But anyway, uh, I hope you found this useful. Any questions, comments, or complaints, let me know in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, for more.